The movie starts. We are shown father and son. Those are sitting on the boat at that time and catching alligators. In them, the son goes to the shore for the toilet. When he returns, he discovers that his father has been murdered. But before understanding anything about this situation, someone comes from behind and cuts him into two pieces only with his hands. After this, we are shown Ben, who came to a festival with some of his friends. Recently, his seven-year-old friend ditched him. He was quite upset because of it. He came to that festival only to forget her. But there were more girls at the festival. He was missing her even more by looking at them. There he heard from someone about the haunted swamp tour, and he plans to go there. Marcus from his friends, who is unwilling to go with him. Both of them go to the shop where these tours were conducted. The owner of the shop tells that he does not do tours anymore. The reason for this is that it is not allowed to go there. But he tells them the address of another shop, which was still doing this tour. Taking the address, they go to that shop, and there they meet a boy, Andrew, who manages such tour. And at the same time, there are two models, both of them were going on the tour with their director Doug. After the tickets, both of them sit in tone to bus. There were more people who were going on the tour. Andrew drives the bus to take the swamp, and all the people go there and sit in the boat. Andrew starts the boat and takes all of them with him. Then from far away distance man shouted and tries stopping them from going there. But they ignore him as crazy man and move on to their journey. Andrew gave them a swamp to there, and since it was a haunted tour, so he was also trying to scare them all. They see a house on the edge of the swamp. Andrew tells them that this house belongs to the urban legend Victor Crowley. He tells Victor Crowley was very ugly. Because of this his father himself killed him with the help of a hatchet. And even today Crowley cries for his father in this forest. Then Maribeth says that both this house and the story he was narrating are fake. Then after going some distance, their boat is trapped in big stones. All those people try removing those stones, suddenly it starts raining. Even after trying so much from those people, the boat does not move from its place. And after a while, the boat starts to drown. Now, those people were stuck there. Then Jim climbs a tree and tries to reach the edge. But his foot slips and an alligator grabs his feet. He shouts a lot for the help, but no one helps him. Maribeth then takes a gun and shoots the alligator. Then they go to the edge one by one. Because those people were stuck in this trouble, that's why they ask for an answer from Andrew. And here he was exposed. He says that he does not do any tours. His brother has sent him here for a little money. And this is his second tour. He also claims that the first tour was excellent and that the second tour, in which they are currently stranded, is a disaster. And to switch the matter, he asks Maribeth, where did the gun come from? To which she says, I'm here to find someone here. Two nights before, his father and his brother had come here to catch the alligators. They did not return home, that's why she is looking for them here. And both of them were the same who had killed by something mercilessly. She says we should go as fast as possible. Otherwise we all killed and no one listens to her. But they all want to stay there. She says that this is the forest of Victor Crowley. Then she narrates the real story of his real life. Victor Crowley's childhood was quite ugly. Because of this father hide him from all to keep alone at home. He was the only child of him. Father loved him a lot even though he was ugly. Other children intimidating Victor and made fun of him. That's why both father son lived in a forest away from the city. On Halloween's night, when Victor's father was not at home, some children go to his house and make trouble. Those children burn firecrackers and throw them inside the house for letting the Victor come outside. But the spark of those firecrackers ignites the house door and Victor Crowley gets trapped inside. Shortly, the father of Victor comes. After seeing him, the children run away. His father tries very hard to open the door, but he is not able to get success. Then his father takes a hatchet and breaks that door. But he did not know that the victor was on the other side of the door. At the time of the door break act, hatchet straight into the head of Victor and on the spot he dies. Now after losing his son, his father had a bad condition. Father lived in his house for 10 years and one day died too. From that day Victor Crowley finds his father and whatever comes in Victor's way, he eliminates him her. Even after listening the whole story, no one shows belief in her. They all were saying that we have left behind the house of Victor Crowley. Then Mario Bate says that it was not the real house of Victor Crowley and she shows them his 
his rear house which was absolutely in front of them. And to reach the road, they have to cross the house of Crowley. They hear a very fearful voice while walking. Nobody wanted to go towards that house. But the condition of Jim was deteriorating. Then Shannon takes him alone and moves towards that house. As soon as they both reach near the house, Victor Crowley comes out of the house. By hitting Hatchet badly, he divides Jim into two pieces. Shannon tries to run away, but Victor Crowley also catches her and kills her badly. This scene is quite disturbing. Everyone else runs away after seeing her but Maribet seems to be able to shoot her. When Victor Crowley moves towards her, she shoots him down, and she runs away from him too. They are all reunited, but there was no Doug between them. In another scene we are shown Doug, who was running alone. Running away, he gets a bump to Victor, and Victor Crowley kill him too by twisting his neck. On the other hand, they were all trying to escape, but after a lot of tries, they again and again come front of that house. Mayabate then goes to the house to find some weapons, and Ben goes along with her also. Here Maribeth gets the dead body of his father and his brother. After seeing those, she feels disturbed. Seeing dead in such a painful way, she weeps a lot. On the other hand, they get a voice of someone in bushes. Marcus checks, it is a small child of a wild animal, and then they become relaxed. That's when Crowley comes there and take the model Jenna. He runs and uses the belt sander machine on her face. Seeing Crowley, Maribetha's blood boils, gets out of her control, and attacks him, with which he falls down. Ben pulls Mayubet and takes her from there. By taking advantage Andrew tries to finish the Crowley, but Crowley ruthlessly cuts off his head, and he dies in a very painful way. Jenna still had a few breaths left, but Victor Crowley does not give any chance of living to her, and he killed her in a very bad way. By now, they all knew that they could not escape from here. That's why they planned to kill Crowley. Ben tells them he saw containers of fuel in Crowley's house. They can burn him and kill him with fuel. They all move towards his house. Outside Marcus and Muribate try to get Crowley's attention. And during this time, Ben finds fuel there. On the other hand, the model Misty is guarding the outside. Ben finally gets a fuel can. At the same time, various body parts Misty fall on him. Victor Crowley shows up at the door. Mayabate follows behind to stab Victor Crowley. Ben seizes the chance to shower Victor Crowley with the gasoline. Victor Crowley throws Mayabate aside and she evades through the door. Right now, only Victor Crowley remains in the house. Ben quickly throws in the fire starter, setting Victor Crowley in blazing fire. However, when the three survivors feel relieved, there is a thunder roll. The heavy rain extinguishes Victor Crowley's fire. Ben almost breaks down at such a twist. Time is not on their side. The trio have to run with all their might and strength. They reach a graveyard. Based on Maribeta's faint memory, as long as they cross the graveyard, they will return to the city. Following the direction of the iron bars, they come to the main gate. But Victor Crowley again shows up out of thin air, standing in their way. He throws away the AX and clamps down on Ben. Maribet kicks him away, but Victor Crowley gets hold of Marcus' leg. Then, Mayabate steps and tramples on Victor Crowley's wounds, causing him tremendous pain. Finally, he lets go of Marcus' legs. The three manage to break away and hide behind a wall. Marcus thinks that Victor Crowley would stop the pursuit. Right after that, Victor Crowley grabs Marcus' arms and breaks them. Marcus' blood splashes on the stone statue. Victor Crowley then removes an iron bar from the main gate and flings it to hit Ben's hip. With an uproar, Victor Crowley charges at them. Maya Bate helps to position the iron bar in such a way that it stabs into Victor Crowley. In a pinch, Victor Crowley stops moving and spits out the blood at Ben's face. Ben and Mayabate think that Victor Crowley should have already died and slowly walk away. They find a boat floating on the water's surface and row it to leave the deadly zone. In peaceful moonlight, Mayabate breaks down in bitter cries for those who are killed. Ben consoles her that at least they have survived. However, at this time, Victor Crowley pops up and pulls Mayabate into the water. Mayabate fights against him desperately and tries to get back to the boat with Ben help. When Mayabet is about to go on board, she sees Victor Crowley seated on the boat, and Ben is almost dying beside him. The film ends with Mayabet's desperate screams, 